on guys welcome to the channel in today's video i'll be going through the five star arcana sonetto and i'll be giving you guys a quick guide and my reason why i think sonetto is literally the best free to play unit in the game but before i get started on the video make sure you guys comment like and subscribe and also turn on post notification bells so that you guys can always stay tuned as i post new videos i really appreciate it and if you guys are new here on the channel i have a discord server so if you guys have any questions regarding tower of god new world and reverse night Tally nine and other games you can join the server by going to my channel description you see the server link there and i also post the server link in the comment section down below but anyways let's not waste any time let's hop right into the video so sonetto so as you guys may know sonetto you get this character for free you get her for free and you basically get like four copies of her basically four portraits and the way you get these four portraits is basically by progressing through the story and completing missions so the reason why she is literally the best free to play unit in my opinion keyword free to play i'm not saying you know best unit in the game but free to play wise she is literally one of the best free to play units because you literally get four portraits of her for free and on top of that her kit is really really good so let's go ahead and talk about her skills now you guys are you guys might already know you know how she is and you know how she works but this is basically a little quick refresh on how she works so for her buff we have a mass buff for one of her arcane skills we have mass buff damage dealt plus 50 percent and damage taken negative 15 percent for all allies and penetration rate plus 15 percent for the caster last two rounds and the more you get incantations on this arcane skill the longer this buff lasts and also you get more damage and you receive less damage and you also get penetration rate so this i feel like this is the main reason why sonetto is absolutely amazing because this buff it's a mass buff it applies to your whole team so your team is taking less damage and you're doing more damage and on top of that it'll it gives you her it gives her penetration rate and penetration rate basically ignores mental and reality defense so that allows her to do a lot of damage so that is like literally one of the best like this is like the reason why she's absolutely cracked because of this buff and now we look at her next arcane skill we have one target attack deals 20 percent reality damage and when you get more incantations on this arcane skill you can basically disarm the enemy disarm basically means you can make you can basically prevent the enemy from attacking they literally can't attack and yeah that's pretty much her debuff so this is honestly really good it does a lot of damage and it also inflicts disarm now her ultimate her ultimate is crazy her ultimate does so much damage so it does mass attack deals 300 percent reality damage to all enemies if the caster is in stats up or pause status statuses this attack enjoys penetration rate plus 24% and deals 100% more reality damage. So before you use her ultimate, you want to make sure that you use your buff because it says right here, if the caster is in stats up or pause status, then the ultimate is going to enjoy the 24% penetration rate. So if you don't have her buff up, then her ultimate is not going to do that much damage. And you want to get as much penetration rate as much as possible because she can basically ignore mental and reality defense so that's pretty much her kit her kit is really really simple debuff and she can disarm the enemy she can buff herself in your whole team and then she can do her ultimate and she can basically her ultimate enjoys penetration rate now for side cubes now her best side cube is of course brave new world like they literally have her as like the picture of the side cube the reason why this side cube is really good is because it increases her ultimate damage as you guys can see ultimate might plus 14 percent and then for the amplification after the carrier casts an ultimate incantation might of the next incantation plus 20 percent so when you use her ultimate the damage of her next arcane skill is going to do more damage because of the incantation plus 20 percent so this is honestly a really good side cube for her of course you can put other side cubes on her for example you can put it on a side cube such as luxurious leisure because it says after the actually luxurious leisure is for a single target you can use this side cube it's, it has ultimate might and when a caster attacks if the target's hp is above 50 percent damage dealt plus eight percent so as long as her hp is above 50 percent she gets that additional eight percent damage so this is not a, bi a bad side cube either but i feel like this is like her best side cube like this is literally the best side cube for her so that's side cubes 
and we will look at portraits now for portrait one for p1 unrestricted chance effect changes to if the caster is in stats up or pause status penetration rate plus 16 percent so she gets an additional penetration rate boost and then for p2 the commanded v's effect changes to at one to three stars deals 220 230 and 350 percent reality damage so she gets additional scaling and she basically does more damage and then for p3 the effect changes to 15 percent penetration rate and then for p4 you basically get an increased penetration rate so i feel like the most important thing about her kit is of course the penetration rate because she basically ignores reality and mental defense so that is pretty much her whole kit when we look at her insight for let's look at her insight one for insight one when the caster is in stats up or pause status damage dealt plus 50 percent and then when insight two reality defense and mental defense plus 10 percent when the caster enters battle and if for insight three when the caster is in stats up or pause status critical resist and critical defense plus 15 percent so for insight one she does more damage and for insight two and three is basically just defense and survivability she just gets more defense and that's pretty much it so that's pretty much sonetto's kit now i'm going to go ahead and showcase you guys give you guys a quick showcase as of to why she is an amazing five star unit so hmm we should probably do something like yeah we should probably do something like this let's come over here Now, this is the team that I'm using for her. Um, I'm using DK, I'm using Sonetto, Baby Blue. Um, this team is honestly really good. If you guys were to ask me which team is like, like which team fits her the most, I'll say that Sonetto pretty much works in almost every single team because she's a universally really good character. She works on a lot of teams because she can ignore reality and mental defense. So she can pretty much work in a lot of teams. And plus her mass buff, affects both reality and mental characters so it doesn't just you know focus on one damage type it focus on both damage types which really benefits her as a support character and also a dps character so i'm going to go ahead and we're going to put this at yeah let's put this at one replay i'm not going to waste that much stamina but i'm going to show you guys a quick replay as of to how i use this character and then when you pair her up with a unit like baby blue um the fact that baby blue is putting that increased damage taken to the enemies and then you also have sonetto who's also increasing your allies damage they both synergize perfectly i'll say sonetto and baby blue like their synergy is just so so good because sonetto is increasing your team's damage and baby blue is increasing the damage that the enemies can take so it's actually absolutely amazing so this is basically the quick the quick replay i could honestly do this manually but I'd rather do it in auto instead. And of course, DK. The reason why DK is in this team is because she's healing and she does good damage as well. Like basically the role that DK plays is basically just a healing role and that's pretty much it. Healing and damage. And later on in the future, I'm definitely going to do artificial sound ambulism content. As I said right now, mostly I'm focusing on, you know, leveling on my characters and pretty much trying to unlock, basically upgrading my wilderness. That's pretty much what I'm working on right now. I'm definitely going to do like an update, an account update later on. Probably in a couple of days, I'm going to do an account update. But that's pretty much Sodetto. She is like, the reason why she's just so good is because you literally get five portraits for her for free. Like you literally get five portraits for her for free. And she's just cracked. She's just overall cracked she's really easy to use and her kit is just universally good like i would definitely say that not using sonetto as a free-to-play unit is one of the biggest mistakes because she just provides so much value to my team she provides so much value to my account like she can actually carry in a lot of content because of her buff her disarm and also her damage when she uses her ultimate so sonetto overall really really solid character i would definitely say that she is one of the best free-to-play units in terms of investment because you really don't have to like if you guys look if you come to the summon right if you come over here to details sonetto is not part of the banner like she's not in like you literally can't get sonetto 
in summons at all you can't even obtain her in summons so basically the, t the game is telling us that you really want to use sonetto because for her portrait five now for her portrait five i don't know where that's at i'm pretty sure we're gonna get that in the future but there's really no way for us to get her last portrait we're just gonna have to wait for that but that 32 percent penetration rate is absolutely insane so the fact that you get free portraits for her and on top of that you can also get her side cube pretty much for free like if you actually grind the side cube preference missions and actually get those you know currency when you obtain this this is actually really really good for her because of the ultimate might so overall as a free-to-play unit she's just absolutely amazing as you guys can see she's a dps support and control unit she just does well and she just excels at every single aspect so that's pretty much my thoughts on sonetto um really good unit overall really like she literally works in like almost every single team because of her kit basically but anyways i'll be leaving the video at that make sure you guys comment like and subscribe i appreciate y'all for watching this video and i'll be catching you guys on the next one peace